Hey guys, today I'm here to talk about my top 10 favorite series slash trilogies. So I haven't read all of the books in some of these series and trilogies, and that's because I haven't actually finished many series, and in some cases the last book hasn't yet been released. So yes, there's that, but I had to be really picky and I did not select any series that I've only read the first book for. There are a lot of books that I absolutely love and they would be included in my favorites, but I haven't continued reading this series yet, so I've decided to just keep it to ones that I've read at least two of the books for. So I'm just going to jump right into it and I'm going to start off with the series that are probably the most obvious ones. We of course have the Harry Potter series. I only personally own the first three books but I intend to change that very soon but this one is just... do I really need to explain myself? It's Harry Potter. Fantastic series. Just amazing. Just... I don't even know what to say about it. Next I have the Hunger Games trilogy which is the Hunger Games, Catching Fire and Mockingjay. I'm currently lending out Catching Fire to one of my friends but this is just so awesome. This series is just full of so much action, so much heartbreak, very intense, just like all of the feels everywhere and the male specimens that you can find in here, om oh, nom nom, yes. The Divergent Trilogy, which includes Divergent, Insurgent, and the last one, Allegiant, which is not yet out, but it's coming out this month, and I'm so excited, oh my god. But again, this series is so much fun, full of action, love the characters, just, they're so easy to read, you just whiz through them, and oh, so very intrigued to see how this one finishes. The Across the Universe Trilogy, which is Across the Universe, A Million Suns, and Shades of Earth which I do not own. But this one is set in outer space. It's got a lot of mysterious aspects to it, a lot of very intriguing characters, and just the whole storyline as well. I haven't read many books set in outer space or in spaceships and things like that, so it's awesome to read and I just love them. The Vampire Academy series, which includes Vampire Academy, Frostbite, Shadow Kiss, Spiritbound, Blood Promise, and Last Sacrifice. I do not own the first two books, but these are the last four, and this series is just so awesome. It's such a really, really cool and exciting spin on Vampires, Dimitri is one, hunk of a man, Rose is just badass. The books get better and better as the series progresses as well till you get The Last Sacrifice, which is one hell of a book. It was amazing. Just, yes, if you're really hesitant about reading vampire books, just... I don't care. Pick these ones up because they're fantastic. The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer trilogy with the Unbecoming of Mara Dyer, the Evolution of Mara Dyer, and the Retribution of Mara Dyer, which is not yet out. And it's been pushed back, I think, which is annoying. So much mystery, kind of like a psychological thriller as well. There's really, really intense and creepy scenes. The entire time in the back of your head, you kind of just like, is this the real life? Or is this just fantasy? Caught in a landslide, no skin. No, but seriously, you're just kind of like, is Mara insane or what's going on? Mm-hmm. And there's just, oh my god, it's so good. It's so good. I love them. The Song of the Lioness Quartet with Alana, the first adventure in the hands of the goddess. The Woman Who Rides Like a Man and Lioness Rampant. This is one of the first young adult series that I ever read and it is so amazing. This girl switches place with her brother. She pretends to be a boy and trains to be a knight. So there's a lot of action. There's a lot of secrets and everything. And there's also a lot of magic and it's just so awesome and it's so good. It is so good. Then we have The Lunar Chronicles by Marissa Meyer. The first one Cinder, the second one Scarlet. These books are just awesome kind of sci-fi set in New Beijing in the future. There's cyborgs and androids and spaceships and these beings from the moon and they're all fairy tale retellings with all these different characters and their stories intertwine and it's it's fantastic. These are both adult series that I have started reading slash read this year, and they are at the very top of my favorites. The King Killer Chronicles by Patrick Rothfuss. The first one is The Name of the Wind. The second one is The Wise Man's Fear, which I'm currently reading, but I had to include this one because I'm loving it. It's so good. It's set in this fantastical world, but it's so believable. The characters are so real, and so is the world. It's just so detailed, so beautiful, and just, oh, fantastic. So good. Beautiful. Oh my god, they're really, 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 really thick books though, but it's so worth reading. And last, but certainly not least, The Bronze Horseman Trilogy by Paulina Simons. So this trilogy includes The Bronze Horseman, The Bridge to Holy Cross, also known as Tatiana and Alexander, and The Summer Garden. An absolutely beautiful love story set in Russia during World War II. Again, this, these, these books just tear out your heart, all of the feels. Oh my goodness, it's... Oh, 
my goodness it is so good and i really want to reread this series again already like now <sighs> it's, it's... so those are my top 10 favorite series and trilogies i really hope you enjoyed this let me know what you think of the books that i mentioned and what about you what are your favorite series that's all that i have for this video today but if you would like to check out my favorite standalones the video that i made yesterday click on my face now you can go check out more books that i recommend to you and yes i will see you guys tomorrow bye